Have you ever imagined having a neighbor whose behavior turns every minor issue into a major drama? In this video, we introduce you to the last Karen you want as your neighbor, whose constant complaints and confrontations make living nearby a real challenge. Let's start with this woman who is getting on everyone's nerves. On July 2nd, 2023, a dramatic and disorderly incident unfolded in a neighborhood, resulting in a chaotic interaction between a woman and local law enforcement. The events began when the woman, intoxicated and driving erratically, first collided with a light pole. Are you okay? Yeah. Are, are, are you okay? I am. She fled the scene, but soon returned, crashing into a neighbor's house. <laughs> This act of reckless driving not only damaged property, but also sparked a series of confrontations with the police. Um, guess what? I'm, I'm fine. I, I can't do that, man. Upon arriving at the scene, officers encountered a tumultuous situation. The woman, identified later as Judith, was visibly intoxicated and exhibited erratic behavior. Can I have your name, Ellie? Judith. Judith. No, you no, her, her actions included refusing to provide her driver's license or any identification, and she continuously denied having consumed alcohol, despite evidence to the contrary. Okay, can I get your driver's license? No. How come? Can I at least get your name, ma'am? No. No date of birth, no nothing? You know what? Yes. She repeatedly insisted that she was fine and refused to cooperate with the police's inquiries. The situation escalated quickly as Judith's behavior grew more aggressive. She resisted arrest, kicked, and screamed at the officers. Hey, you know what? You, you have a kid. You know what? Stop. You know what? Oh, oh, no, 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 let's not do this. You know what? Don't kill me. Her hostility included making threats and using offensive language which further complicated the officer's efforts to manage the situation. You know what? Please don't hurt me! No, okay, you know what? Okay, no. you know what, you mother... Okay, you know what? Just let me go. Just let me go! I will never report you to... Let me go! Despite being offered medical clearance at the hospital, Judith's demeanor remained combative, and she continued to resist and make threats against the officers. You have kids! Ah! 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 Following her medical clearance, Judith was transported to jail. The charges against her included aggravated driving while intoxicated, DWI, and resisting arrest. Okay, now we have to have you go on your stomach, okay? Go ahead and go to your stomach. We don't want you to get hurt. Watch your head. The aggravated DWI charge stemmed from her reckless driving that endangered public safety and caused significant property damage. The resisting arrest charge was due to her aggressive and obstructive behavior towards the police officers. Under Florida law, Judith's actions were violations of specific legal statutes. First, aggravated driving. While intoxicated, DWI, as stated in Florida statutes. Chapter 3, 16.193. Aggravated DWI, particularly when it involves property damage, is classified as a third degree felony in Florida. Penalties can include up to five years in prison, fines up to $5,000, and a mandatory driver's license suspension. Additional consequences can involve mandatory community service and mandatory attendance in alcohol education programs. Second, resisting arrest. Without violence, as stated in Florida statutes, chapter 843.02. 
Resisting arrest without violence is classified as a first-degree misdemeanor. Penalties can include up to one year in jail, fines up to $1,000, and probation. This charge applies when an individual obstructs or resists a law enforcement officer without using physical violence. Clearly, this is not the worst case you're going to ever witness. Just wait until you see this next woman who is a cop's entitled mother and thinks it's legal to drink and drive on vacation. On March 12, 2024, an incident unfolded in Key West involving a driver suspected of driving under the influence, DUI, and his wife, who was also found to be intoxicated. The scenario highlights the rigorous enforcement of DUI laws and the legal repercussions that follow. The event began when Sergeant Conn of the Key West Police Department initiated a traffic stop on a vehicle swerving dangerously. The officer noted that the vehicle had no lights on and was operating erratically, almost hitting the curb and veering into the wrong lane. No lights. Okay. Just one. Sorry. The other, yeah, you almost okay. hit the curb, and then you almost went into the left lane. Is there any legal reason for that? Upon approaching the vehicle, Sergeant Conn detected signs of impairment in the driver, including slurred speech and disoriented behavior. Why is your speech slurred? How much have you had to drink tonight, sir? Well, I've had a few, but... Um... Okay. During the stop, the driver admitted to consuming several alcoholic beverages, including beer and mixed drinks. Beer? Beer okay. and um, whole grain and coke. And what? Uh, Jack, whole grain and coke. I had Jack and coke, but they don't have a... Despite his claim of having a few drinks, the officer observed significant signs of intoxication. You're exhibiting a couple of signs of impairment, okay? I'm just gonna tell you, I can see it in your eyes. Yeah. Okay, I can hear it in your speech, and I saw it in your driving yeah, pattern. I hear Okay, so you telling me that you had a few, how many is a few? The driver was subjected to field sobriety tests, which further confirmed his impairment. Consequently, he was arrested for DUI. Over here, just to the back of your car, okay? okay. I said yes, yes, would you let me go? No. It, I, I, I am not the person that, I'm not going to blow no, smoke up your ass, ass kind of thing, no, but it, since, since yeah. you asked, I will talk about no. it. No, absolutely. No. It would not have changed. The driver's wife, who was also present and appeared to be intoxicated, became increasingly agitated. Come on, really? Yes, ma'am. He is intoxicated driving. She argued with the officers, asserting that driving drunk should be permissible in Key West and expressing frustration over the situation. It's okay to drive drunk? Is that what you think? No. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Her confrontation escalated as she attempted to intervene in her husband's arrest, which led to her arrest for resisting law enforcement. Uh, so work on getting car? yourself a ride. What police car? You're about to go in cuffs if you go over there. I'll, I'll go with him. You want to go to jail? We'll work on that. I'll go with him. OK. Following their arrests, both individuals were booked into jail. The driver faced charges of DUI, while the wife was charged with resisting arrest. The legal consequences of their actions included spending the night in jail and dealing with the repercussions of their respective charges. Can I have them? Yeah, she told me it was okay to drunk drive. That was false. The DUI charge typically results in severe penalties, including fines, license suspension, and potential imprisonment. The resisting arrest charge also carries significant consequences including fines and possible jail time. Both individuals face the immediate impact of their actions, and the incident serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of impaired driving and the importance of cooperating with law enforcement. The driver and passenger in this case violated several key laws under Florida statutes. Under Florida statutes, chapter 316.193, Driving under the influence is a serious offence. Section 316.193, 1, outlines that a person is considered impaired if their blood alcohol content, BAC, is 0.08% or higher, 
or if they exhibit signs of impairment. Penalties for a DUI conviction may include fines ranging from $500 to $2,000, a license suspension of up to 12 months, and possible imprisonment. Repeated offences or high BSc levels can result in more severe penalties, including longer jail sentences and higher fines. The wife's actions constituted a violation of Florida statutes, chapter 843.02. This section addresses the crime of resisting an officer without violence. Under this statute, any attempt to obstruct or resist law enforcement officers who are performing their official duties can result in a second degree misdemeanor, punishable by up to 60 days in jail and a $500 fine. In cases where resistance involves violence or significant obstruction, charges can escalate to felonies with more severe penalties. Seems like this mother just landed herself in hot water, but wait until you see this next Karen. On September 24, 2023, an intense encounter unfolded involving a woman, a traffic stop, and the police. The incident began when an officer on patrol observed a vehicle traveling erratically at 15 miles per hour in the center lane of the road, which led to a suspicion of driving under the influence DUI. Despite the officer's attempt to initiate a traffic stop, the vehicle continued to move, prompting a pursuit. Truck over and stop. Nobody's on the road. Shit. No, 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 no. Uh. The pursuit culminated when the vehicle eventually stopped, but the situation quickly escalated. Show us your hands! Show us! Yeah, don't ever run back! Show us! Back up! The driver, identified as a woman, exhibited defiant and alarming behavior. As officers approached, they observed her holding a black object, which she pointed at them as if it were a firearm. It's like a stick. Hands up! Hey, hands up! Stop your hands! Get away from me. Please get away from me. Hands up! The officers, perceiving the object as a potential weapon, instructed her to show her hands and to get out of the vehicle. She's going to black up, look at her hands. She's saying she's not getting out of the vehicle. I'm not going back there. The woman's actions included refusing to comply with the officer's commands, creating a high-risk scenario. She was instructed to get on the ground, but she resisted and continued to protest. The officers, recognizing the potential threat posed by the object in her hand, decided to employ a less lethal method to control the situation including the use of a taser. Please don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. I'm not going to do this again. Please don't hurt me. Please don't. He wants to hurt you. Let me out. Let me go. 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 During the arrest, the woman expressed her distress, claiming that she did not want to go back to jail and pleaded with the officers not to harm her. We go to the pound, where can I take that dog to? You got a good looking dog, I would hate to take him to doggy jail. But if you don't talk to me, I got no other options. Okay. The interaction was fraught with tension as the woman also attempted to manage the welfare of her pet dog, which was in the vehicle. My shoulder. Which shoulder? Oh, sit up a little bit. Okay. That way you're not on your arms and your okay, okay. handcuffs. Oh, 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 my head hurts now. What? Following her arrest, the woman was charged with several offenses, including DUI, failure to obey a lawful order from a police officer, obstruction of public officers, and driving with a suspended license. It was also discovered that she had an outstanding warrant for a previous DUI offense, amounting to $10,000.
the legal consequences for the woman are significant. She faces potential penalties including fines, imprisonment, and mandatory DUI education or treatment programs. The charges reflect serious violations of traffic laws and public safety regulations. In Ohio, the charges brought against the woman encompass several violations of state law, according to Ohio Revised Code, ORC. Chapter 4, 1511.19, a person operating a vehicle while impaired by alcohol or drugs is subject to fines, license suspension, and possible imprisonment. Penalties increase with subsequent offenses and higher levels of impairment. In addition, under ORC Chapter 2921.31, failure to comply with a lawful order of a police officer can result in charges of obstruction. This may lead to fines or imprisonment, depending on the severity and circumstances of the obstruction. The fake gun incident further complicated the case, introducing potential charges related to the use of a firearm or weapon depending on local regulations and interpretations of the object's perceived threat. All right, fellas, what do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe for more interesting and educational contents in the future. Thanks for your support.